Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro, and my name is Matt. Uh, if it's your first time here, we do this once a week. Uh, this is a what sold video, but only postcards. I started making these videos because uh, when I was first starting out and learning this uh, reselling niche, 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 whatever you want to call it, um, I found these videos to be very helpful. And, you know, a little more recently when I started looking for them, I didn't see a lot of them out there. So I uh, decided to start making them myself. So uh, hopefully you learned something. Uh, I'm definitely learning something new on these every single day. Uh, I really kind of caught the bug of uh, selling postcards and, and actually just appreciating them overall. Uh, you might notice a few things different if you've been here before from the background. Uh, we, I actually am on a weekly live show, uh, basically regarding reselling, called Three Gringos. You can find that show over on Thrifty Lobster's channel. That's Thrifty Lobster. Um, it's three guys talking about selling stuff. A lot of fun. And this last week, uh, we put together a little auction lot. Uh, the link for that will be down below. The proceeds for which are going to uh, the uh, Foundation for Suicide Prevention, 100%. Uh, it's free shipping, so um, anything that is bid will go straight to um, straight to the foundation. So uh, hopefully you do that. There's also merch and stuff down below, but if you go to one link only, make sure you go click on that auction and bid. Uh, so thank you very much once for watching. Let's. Without further ado, jump right into it. Let me get all set up here. There we go. All right, so you'll see on some of these a square view to start out with. Um, I'm going to start showing these sometimes just if let you know the first image that I'm, I'm showing on the postcards. This, these are cropped views. They fill up the screen a lot better. Um, they're a bigger image when they're shown to the customers, and I think they get a little bit better traffic overall. Um, so this here is a, a real photo postcard of Charles City, Iowa. Um, it's a stone bridge in uh, from around the 1950s. Uh, got a number of the Charles City, Iowa real photo postcards in a lot. I believe this came from uh, a... A Goodwill auction lot I recently picked up. So stone bridge and wood bridges, definitely a good thing to put in your subject line. If you're selling postcards, uh, there are definitely collectors who enjoy seeing that. Also, by the way, covered bridges, if you don't already know that. So this one sold for $8.95, uh, free shipping. Uh, this one had actually a very cool story along with it. Uh, the person who, who bought it, um, paid for it, sent me a very nice note, but let me know that they grew up uh, uh, very close by to the Briarcliff Dairy and actually worked there quite a bit as a child. Um, so this is definitely one of those cases where the buyer had a very personal connection to the content, even though to everybody else, it's just maybe a cow. Um, this is a leave undivided back. Let's, uh, yes, undivided back. Dated 1910, so probably uh, sent sometime after it was purchased or acquired. Um, but very cool kind of image there of a Jersey Bull. Moving on. Uh, took an offer on this one for $9 plus $1 shipping. This is a Washington's birthday postcard. Uh, I don't recall what I had on it initially. Um, it is not posted. I think I had originally on this $20 or 1999. Um, and then took the, the offer for, for $9 plus shipping. So perfectly happy with that. It's been in the store for a little while. So i um, glad to have this one go out. We have Austin, Texas, the university of Texas tower and campus. Here's what the front looked like. Yep. There you go. And then we've got the tower. So uh, not huge money here. This one sold for $3.95, free shipping. And actually, the person who bought this card bought two cards in the same order, which is definitely always appreciated. 
Uh, and then very familiar site here, different era though. Uh, this one is a linen postcard, uh, also unposted. I like these ones that have the map with the, you know, the key, map key so you can see what each thing is. Uh, usually they, the, those sell pretty well as well. Um, if it's got those, so this was uh, six ninety five. So two cards went out, twelve bucks, free shipping. Able to send them together. They went standard envelope. Um, so nice little sale there. Got an another Texas postcard here. This is Houston, Texas. Once again, uh, sold same like minutes from the other two, but different buyer. Um, Grant Motel. Uh, this is again in Houston. Dexter Press is the publisher down here. You can see. Uh, nice chrome postcard posted. This is our home for a few days while I contact leads on business. I'm loving the long drive, but glad I'm not north where the snows are. Cute. I like this one just because the big sign kind of pointing out at you. Next up, another linen postcard. This is the Santa Maria Inn in Santa near Santa Barbara, California. Very, very, very common card. There, are, if you go look it up, there are a ton of them out there. But the ones I noticed, they're up for like seven ninety five, eight ninety five. And honestly, like when when I see that there's a ton out there and not many sold, I I get it in at a price where the next person who's looking for a card like this. Sees mine, it's good condition, not posted. They're gonna buy it, or it is posted rather, but they're gonna buy it. it doesn't really matter that it is or isn't posted. So, uh, and it sold very quickly for three ninety five free ship. Could have I held out for a little more money? Maybe I don't know, but uh, happy to get the money that I did in as quick a time as I did as well. Next up. This is another one of those exaggeration fish postcards. This is uh, one from, uh, well, there was one last week as well. Uh, this one is on the car. And because it's got the car in here so prominent with a station wagon, I went a little bit higher than the other ones on this. Uh, this one I went $8.95 free shipping. And uh, it actually took around a week to sell, but it did sell. Unposted. Next up is, uh, this is Mooresville, Alabama, the home of John Henry Peebles III. Um, John Henry Peebles III, if I recall correctly, it says on the back here, he was in like the Confederate, some, or er, home of the outstanding homes there. That was, oh, I don't remember who he is then. I was wrong. Uh, can, I feel like it was like Confederate Congress or something along those lines, but I, or Republican Party uh, chair for Alabama for some time. That's what it was. Um, Six ninety five, uh, free shipping. Moving on, we've got the Mackinac Bridge. Uh, I used to torment a, my former partner by calling it the Mackinac Bridge, which I understand is not the thing you do to somebody from Michigan. So the Mackinac Bridge, uh, nice view, nice kind of blue hue to the whole thing. $3.95 for the Mackinac Bridge. Just kidding. Not, it's the Mackinac Bridge. I, I know. All right. Got a San Antonio, Texas, Lackland Air Force Base, the obstacle course. Pretty common subject. Um, this I didn't see any with this exact view. Um, so I'm a little bit higher than the other ones, which was three ninety five instead of like one or two dollars, like most of them were, and it sold pretty quickly. So there we go. Uh, nice Legion Gate at Santa Rosa, California, uh, Junior College. This one is a Mastercraft, manufactured by Mastercraft. There we go. Very nice card. Uh, sold for $13. I took an offer on this one. Um, or maybe I sent one. Doesn't matter. It sold for $13 bucks plus shipping. So I, I know I, I'm burying the lead here. I forgot to mention it at the top of the show. 
this was definitely a bump up from last week. It is 53 cards going out for a total of $401. So that's up $100 from last week and about 20 cards from last week, 15, 20 cards from last week. Um, a lot of them are lower cost ones because that's what I've been listing. Um, but definitely been seeing a, a steady increase as I'm getting more inventory on the market and hoping to continue that. Uh, this is Mount Lawson from the Mount Lawson Volcanic National Park in uh, California. Lawson, Lawson. I'm not sure. It's one of those. California, Lassen or Lassen. Next up, another California First Christian Church in San Diego. This one has been up for a little while, not super, super long. Um, but it was very common. So this one, I only got $2.80. Uh, I sent out a 5% off offer. Somebody took it. Um, free shipping. So I'm making a little under a buck on the card once all is said and done after shipping and materials and all that stuff. Uh, the card before this, I forgot to mention the price on the Mount Lassen, Lassen um, postcard. That was $7.95 free shipping. So next up, we have two cards, same buyer. And uh, one... Oh, incorrect. That's not quite yet, but in a moment. This is uh, Pennsylvania, the Breaker Boys at dinner hour, uh, $24.95 plus uh, first class shipping. This one, I think, came from, yeah, the buy that I made, Miss Daisy Graves. We're all pretty familiar with Miss Daisy if you've been watching for a while now. So uh, a bunch of coal miners eating their lunch. Pretty neat. Um, definitely nice card. Um, took a few months to sell, but, uh, was pretty confident it would. I went a little bit high on this one. It's not, you know, there, there were examples of it out there. Um, when I listed it, I was the only one at the time. There may have been others that came onto the market. I honestly didn't keep up with it. So in any case, uh, full price, $24.95 with first class shipping added. Uh, this one went relatively quickly. New Orleans Canal Street at night. Uh, nice chrome postcard. This is as dark as it was. Like you, all you can see really is like some of the lights. It reminds me of like old cartoons when they're drunk and walking down the street, and you see all the signs floating in. There you go. 1952 posted all the signs for the casinos is just, you know, kind of a neat card, not huge money. Uh, $3 50 cents, uh, sent out a, a make offer sold very quickly. Uh, municipal auditorium, Long Beach, California. I've sold quite a few of this auditorium recently. It's definitely not an uncommon card. Um, I, I priced it accordingly since it's, you know, if there, if there are cards where I see lots of examples out there, I'm going to just try to be the first one that sells. I don't need, I don't need to milk every nickel and dime out of every single card. You know, I try to pick my battles, find, you know, pick the ones that I think are going to be better and worth more that I can get more money for. But when we're in the neighborhood of like the one, two, three, four dollar cards, I'd rather convert the sale and get get money, right? I'm going to use that money to go buy more postcards. Quite honestly, that's what's going to happen. So happy to get that one unposted. It's a nice card, right? It's a cool image. It it displayed well on on the website, um, and it sold quickly. So two dollars ninety five cents. Free shipping. Uh, this one sold very quickly as well. Most of these did. Most of these ones that are two and three dollars. Keep in mind, I have only been using or listing these lower three, two, three, four dollar cards for less than a month. So 
we're seeing a lot of them sell and all of the ones that if you're hearing me say 295 395 like the that means they've been listed in within 30 days so this is uh, estes park colorado elkhorn avenue bird's eye view uh this one sold for 295 free shipping i probably would have asked for some more if it weren't for this writing up at the top and at the top there probably would have gone a whopping dollar more <laughs> all right we've got los angeles california planetarium kind of a bird's eye view sort of kind of a more like a what do they call that a three-quarter view they would call that in like a role-playing game um 395 free shipping obviously linen postcard Anchorage, Alaska, International Airport. Again, I mean, big old smudge right there on the front. We've got mounting paper on the back. So for this, for me, uh, I just, I'm like, you know what? Somebody's going to want it. It's an airport. There's airplanes. Condition be darned. 295 Give them a deal, let them take it, and it's sold overnight. All right, uh, we got a couple of these on this video. Um, we've been doing at least one of these a week, I feel like. We got Jackie Robinson, um, Hall, of Play Hall of Fame induction plaque postcard from 2005. Um, so definitely not old. Uh, I got a bunch of these recently. I just listed them all up at $3.95 a piece. And uh, that's what I got for this one. University of Cincinnati. Uh, this is the McMicken Hall and Ren Tower. There we go. 60s Chrome postcard. Nice color to it. Unposted. University of Cincinnati been pretty hot for me. Not going to lie. This one sold for $6.95. Uh, I think I'm getting down towards the end of it. I maybe have maybe six or seven more cards from University of Cincinnati. They've almost sold. Uh, this is a artist signed linen postcard, Dude Larson. Take a look right there. He's down right at the bottom. L H Dude Larson. Uh, dated nineteen forty. This is one of quite a few that I I listed from him. Uh, somebody apparently had more than one of these at, at one point because this was a duplicate. Um, I, I think I only got one of them. So uh, this one came from uh, the Michon auction out of Alameda, California lot that I, I won. Um, this one sold for, for $5.95 free shipping, and I've got a few more left from this lot as well. We've got Black Gold, Odessa, Texas, obviously big smoke and oil well. Very, very common. Um, but they were all a little overpriced, in my opinion. I put mine up at $3.95, and it sold in a matter of just a few days. Uh, vintage Postcard, 1908. This is Racine, Wisconsin. Um Dirt Street View didn't uh, of Main Street. So we've got some good content here. We've got nice signs. Um, obviously, we say, you know, the Dirt Street View brings some people in sometimes. This is going out, went out to Mrs. Olson. How is Joseph and Margaret? Had a way with words. Uh, so this one sold for $6 even on a offer sent to watchers um definitely happy with what i got this is saint petersburg florida uh people feeding some monkeys pretty neat uh this was listed at 395 i sent out an offer to watchers and got three dollars and 95 or sorry three dollars and 56 cents was it posted ah yeah yeah Nice uh, 
advertising stamp right on the back here. Where the humans are caged and the monkeys run wild. A triple A attraction. Uh, kind of neat. Uh, this is outside of New Orleans. Is That's what I put anyways. I believe there is I had some reason to substantiate that. Yeah, here we go. The sugar rice and cotton plantation scenes that surround New Orleans never fall in. Yeah, there we go. Uh, gentleman sitting outside of a cabin sold for five dollars and sixty-five cents. This also is New Orleans, sold to a different buyer, the Rivergate Convention Center, and uh, yeah, and convention facility. Three dollars seventy-five cents, free shipping. This one also sold very quickly overnight. Could I have gotten more? Maybe. Uh, this is Route 66. Nice sort of... Uh, I'm not sure if I would call this a large letter greeting, although it is kind of... <coughs> it's, not ex it's not exactly. It is a chrome postcard. It's not linen. Um, basically just sights along the Route 66 from Chicago all the way to Los Angeles. In general, Route 66 stuff is going to do well. Um, if you can, you know, tie in a location of a postcard to something like actually on the route, it's good to mention that in the title if you got room. Um, that can help sell the card. Uh, this one sold for $6.95 and uh, it was free shipping. We have the Tower Bridge in Sacramento, California. Fairly common subject, but I didn't see this exact view. Um, still, I went on the high end of what postcards of this bridge sold for. So I sold mine for $7.95, and it was free shipping. And it sold relatively quick. This one is a Walt Disney World Double Decker Bus postcard, $2.95 free shipping. I didn't notice this till after I was shipping it out, but if you look here along the left edge, you'll see the remnants of those perforations, which means it came from a postcard book. Normally, I wouldn't list this um, on its own. Hopefully, the buyer noticed that perforation as well and didn't care. It is posted after all. Maybe they just like the view. We'll see. Um, if there's any issues, I will certainly take care of it. Moving on. This is University of Notre Dame. Airplane view. Um, $3.75 with free shipping. You'll... I don't believe this one was a... Yeah, this is not a linen postcard. This is a white border. So if you look closely on this one, you don't see the cross hatching. It looks just like a linen if you're looking at a scan like this. If you're holding it in your hand, it's going to feel a lot different. Um, the, the stock is a little bit thicker on a linen postcard. It definitely feels texturing. If you feel this one along the front, it's going to feel almost slick. So um, whereas if you feel the linen postcard, it's going to feel, you know, rough. So that's one way you can tell between the two eras is literally just by feeling it. So I mentioned that only, I know we've got a lot of people who, who know their postcards, but I know there's a lot of people as well who watch these who don't. And so sometimes I'm going to throw information for some of the newer people just to help them out. Cause we were all there once, right? All right, moving on. These next two cards went to the same buyer. They went overseas. Um, so we'll show them both here. This is the Sumadera Temple. And the one prior to it is, of course, Mount Fuji. Now, uh, these both are went overseas. Um, these sold, I just enrolled in a uh, site called Web Interpret that takes all of your listings and puts it on uh, several eBay sites worldwide. Um, I, I did this in hopes of 
you know, getting more eyes on some of my cards uh, not, and, and my other items, to be honest, um, and hopefully just increase sales overall. So if we look at uh, the increase that I mentioned earlier, roughly, uh, you know, hundred dollars and 15 cards well that hundred dollars i mean half of it's these two cards that ended up going to germany so um this one sold for uh 1995 the next one sold for 24.95 and what's interesting about these cards is the postal cancel i'm going to show you both of them these are uh service uh, prisoner of war cards. So the it's up here in French, obviously. Um, the some of these uh, postmarks here are probably what helped sell the card, as the one on the back it's marked up the pro prisoners of war prisoners death. So pardon me, de guerre. Guerre. I I do not speak French, so I apologize for anyone anyone French I may have offended. Um, so yeah, very interesting. I have several other of these, uh, that are with more distinct postmarks for prisoner of war from this area of Japan at this time. So, um, these were the least expensive of all of them just because the postmarks weren't quite so distinct and the subject matter was slightly more mundane. So Fuji mountain, I think just a beautiful postcard as, as the Sumadera temple. They're both very pretty on their, on their own merits. So moving on a, another university of Cincinnati postcard. Uh, this is the physics building sold for $6 free shipping. And then again, um, Cyclorama of the Battle of Atlanta. There are so many of the cards of these cards out there. Um, not as many sold as are available. Uh, I put mine up. I put a few of them up at prices that I, I figured they would move at. Um, so this one sold for two dollars ninety five cents, and this is literally a chrome photograph. You know production of the diorama of the, or the, pardon me, the cyclorama of the Battle of Atlanta. Uh, we've got Hollywood, California, Hollywood Boulevard at night. Very, very common postcard again. I know you hear me, you hear me saying that over and over and over again. It's like I'm making an excuse for selling them inexpensive, but you know what? If there's a ton of them out there, I'm not going to milk every dollar and sit on it forever waiting for my three dollars i'd rather have my or my four dollars i'd rather have my three dollars now and later somebody else can get their four dollars meanwhile i'm gonna buy more and list more postcards there we go next uh this is another new orleans louisiana uh canal street this time during the daytime uh nice pictures. This is what I, I put up there. That's what the card looked like when I listed it. And that is what the back looks like. Nice card, 375 uh, free shipping. We have a Victoria, Texas, St. Mary Catholic Church and Nazareth Academy, 295 free shipping. Again, sold quickly, but tons of them out there. Go, go ahead. I mean, any of these cards, go back in the video, look, look them up, and you'll see very easy to find. Go look at the solds. There's probably a bunch of them at like 50 cents. Um, but that's where, that's where mine is, three bucks. Uh, this one's nice. The... Uh, Savannah, Georgia, U.S. Naval Stores, twenty-one ninety-five plus uh, first-class shipping. Uh, Detroit Photograph Company, 
very nice, unposted, undivided back postcard. Took a little while to sell. Um, I listed this uh, back in February. So, you know, four months, but got good money for it. Very happy with that. We have a very nice view of Mount McKinley in Alaska. Uh, another one cool aspect on this one was the Army Postal Service cancel. I like the V for victory stamp and just a very nice, well-toned image of the mountain. It looks quite foreboding. So this one sold for $10 plus $1 uh, shipping. Another Cyclorama postcard. There we go. This one, same thing. Uh, sent out a 5% offer on this one. Got $2.80. This is... That's what, that's what I cropped it to. Big difference, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> pardon me. This is uh, Flint, Michigan. Aerial view of the Buick Motor Division. There it is, off in the distance there. And uh, some cars down here. Uh, so this one got $3.95 free shipping. Sold pretty quickly. Uh, friendly Church. The, or, pardon me. The Second Christian Church, the Friendly Church, in Houston, Texas. This is clearly a linen postcard. Um, for some reason, I made the mistake of putting our PPC in there, which is weird. Why would I do that? It's not a real photo postcard. I know it's not a real photo postcard. My only th guess is I would probably was... Uh, selling similar and forgot to make an adjustment. I listed it back in November. Um, hopefully the person who bought it understands that that was an error and isn't expecting this exact image to be a real photograph. Although I, I can't imagine that they would. So yes, full price. Uh, uh, actually, um, uh, yeah, full price, $45.95, uh, free shipping. Roy Rogers and his famous horse, Trigger. Uh, nice chrome postcard, candid color, color card, uh, $4.95, free shipping. This is San Diego. U.S. Naval Air Station, North Island. Again, put mine at uh, 695. Uh, there was a lot. There weren't a lot available, but there were a lot sold, right? So I went a little high on this one. I went 695. I got a watcher on it. I knocked a dollar off, sent out an offer, and it sold right away. Um, so I'm finding that's often a good strategy on these. It, you know, go a dollar above what you you think you're going to be able to sell it for. Get yourself a watcher, send off an offer for a dollar less, get it sold. Um, so this one was up for like maybe two, three days. Very happy to get it uh, as quickly as I did. Another one of these exaggeration fishes. This one sold for $5.95, unposted. Terrific fishing here. Ha, 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 ha. Clearly, because there's a giant fish in the boat. All right, we've got uh, Salt Lake City, the Great Salt Air Pavilion. Uh, actually, would, is it Salt Lake City or is it just Salt Air Beach? Anyways, uh, I love the try to sink the like uh, cup thing here. That would it must have been fun to play with. Like you get you get in the thing and you yeah anyways try to sink it's such a pretty pavilion too uh, again this is a white border looks kind of like a linen but it's not not you know there's a lot of these right there's a if you've there's so many of the older uh, Salt Lake 
postcards look very much like this. Um, this one was I got twelve fifty uh, plus one dollar shipping. Pardon me, twelve ninety five plus uh, first class shipping. So somebody paid seventeen ninety five. We have Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Fifth Avenue from Market Street. Uh, $5.36. It was 5% off offer, 10% off offer. It was listed at $5.95. Um, still nice postcard. Almost kind of like an abstractionist um, painting, really, right? Like you see the figures, but it's not very sharp. And it's not a scanning error. I just looked at this card. We uh, packed it up before this video. It very, it almost reminds me of like Nighthawks or something like that a little bit. Um, yeah, I just I like the view. That's uh, William Jennings Bryant and his wife. Uh, this one came from a collection I bought last fall. Um, took a while to sell for sure. Um, sold for $5 and 95 cents. And, uh, this one actually went out with another card to the same buyer. And, uh, you know, for this next card, I just want to give a big shout out to the big JC person who made selling this card possible. Uh, he's probably out there with his hammer. Building the house for poor people. That's right. You know who I'm talking about. It's Jimmy Carter. And this is his peanut brigade. Uh, this is actually his victory march from the White House on Inauguration Day with a giant floating peanut. So <laughs> somebody decided they wanted uh, Williams Jennings Bryant and a peanut. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, Williams Jennings Bryant, five ninety five. The peanut sold for two ninety five. Another one of these uh, Hall of Fame plaques. This one sold for uh, three ninety five, as all of them have and will. If I don't send out a five percent discount. Tucumari, New Mexico. Uh, this probably a little bit before uh, Route 66 would be a good keyword, but it would be a good place to use it. Um, this is the public school building in Tucumari. Uh, you know, if this this was like, it's part pardon, pardon me, not Tucumari, Tucumcari. My mistake. Anybody who I may offend from New Mexico. Uh, this almost looks like the front of like a, a album in the 70s. If we were zoomed in on it a little bit. Blowing in the wind, you've got like here up front, this is uh, Jane on lead guitar. Over here on the left, that's Ringo on drums. Over there on the right is, well, you get the idea. Um, Tucumcari sold for $6.95, uh, free shipping. Kerrville, Texas, this one just sold um, right before and I decided to throw it in. Uh, this is the Shriner Institute Campus Administration Building. Uh, this is what it looked like to the person who was buying. That's a quite a crop. That's a bit. That's a big old crop. But you know what? This is a. Again, there was plenty of them out there. I didn't see a lot for solds, and you know, not high value. So I just put it at a price I thought I could sell it at. I do like on this one, and this is just a silly, weird observation. If you look at the outline of the tree, tree branch, and how it sort of mirrors the shape of the cloud. I just thought that was interesting. Like that, that was a very specific decision by the artist, right? I wonder if anybody else has noticed that in the 80 or so years, or not 80, well, maybe 80, or it's 2020, and this is, could be the 40s, so yeah, that'd be 80 years, wouldn't it, um, since this card was created. 
And finally, New Orleans, Louisiana. This is Antoine's restaurant. Again, very common card. Sound like a broken record. I'm sorry. I will try not to say that as many times on the next one. We'll get it out of my system this week. I'll just keep saying common card over and over and over again until it is a meaningless term. That's how you do it. Uh, this one sold for $2.95 with free shipping. And I've, I noticed as I was doing this video, we had several other card sales come in. But you know what? We're going to push those to next week. Because this video has been very long, and we all know it. But I do want to thank you all for watching. Um, we're going to do this again next week. I was thinking next week, maybe we do a What Sold Live. What do you think? Let's do that. Let's do a What Sold li Live next week. And that way, maybe we can bring some people in. You can talk about some of the ones you've sold. Maybe do some show and tell. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put the schedule on the channel. Uh, my contact information, you can get me through Instagram. You can get me through Facebook. You can get me on eBay, Jackass Retro, and all of those places. Or you can email me at jackass at jackassretro.com. Yeah, I own the domain. What can I say? Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can put something together for next week. Do it live. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, do enjoy having you here. I've been enjoying doing these videos. And, uh, of course, if you have questions, comments, thoughts, ideas, anything, put them down in the comments. Um, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. Have a great weekend or great week.